Good day again sa inyong lahat. So this is the final uh, lecture for our subject introduction to agricultural commodity system and enterprise development. Our topic, the final topic is agricultural commodity supply chain. Okay. So what is a supply chain? It refers to the steps taken to deliver food from the farmer to the consumer. Again, stages, uh, steps, okay? Steps, so you think about steps, ito yung mga sunod-sunod na dapat gawin na para ma-deliver yung food from farmer to the consumer. Transformed into saleable goods, these products can be processed, packaged, and stored before eventually being transported to market. Post-harvest food loss is an especially important issue across the developing world where the infrastructure, energy grids, and transportation or transport system are often poor or missing. In these countries, more than 40% of food losses occur um, post-harvest and during processing. So, um, pag, in, pag tinitingnan dito yung along the way, sa bawat steps na yan, nagkakaroon ng losses, nasisira, o kaya poor quality, hindi na siya pwedeng i-process, at malaki ang porsentong nawawala. 40%. So, if we look at the at the graph, ano? so you have the pre-production, then the production, which is growing. Uh, now, you have the supply chain. Actually, supply chain is a management system. Yan. Merong meron talagang yan ang pinag-aralan no? because supply chain includes processing, storage, transport, wholesaling and retailing, and market access. So, ito ay parte na talaga ng isang uh, complicated business ang supply chain. No? And then, finally, yung consumption. So, bago yung consumption from the production, all steps in between them are included sa supply chain. So, paano ba uh, natin maiintindihan siya in other view? Ano? So, from farmer, pupunta sa processor, then yung processor, ibebenta sa distributor, sa retailer, and then finally sa customer. Same same din yung sinasabi kanina. No? So, a agricultural supply chain or ASCs is actually defined by several uh, experts like sabi dito uh, from Cholakis you know, and, and at, at all or others are defined as the set of activities included in a farm to fork progression including activities such as farming uh, whereas there is cultivation of land for crop production, processing, production, testing, packaging, horse, warehousing, transportation, distribution, and marketing. Just like yung pinakita kong mga graphs kanina. ASCs encompasses the activities of supply management, production, and process management, and demand management through competitive distribution channel for satisfying the end consumers. This is done by Chan Drasekaran and Raghuram. Another definition by Sarbosa and Rosso comprise of stakeholders such as food procurement, processing, and manufacturing organization, distribution, and commercial organizations, agents, food service firms, and hotels and restaurants, and grocers and retail organizations. So these are a uh, whole bunch of uh, uh, institutions and firms involved in the supply chain. Okay, here is a sample of uh, a supply chain, a graph of a supply chain. Uh, same thing then, production, and then uh, ito nga lang ay advanced because ito yung tinatawag ngayon na farming 4.0, not necessarily na the traditional one, but rather incorporated na rito yung mga new technology like uh, smart financing tapos uh, transaction are done 
using the internet yan no uh, so sample niya na yung ano uh, let's say uh, gcash ano so naandiyan na yung facility all you need to do is to have it applied in your cellphone you can do the financing at may nagpapautang pa diyan sa sa gcash hanggang 15,000 okay dito ka makautang diyan so these are type of the modern supply chain ng money uh, transactions So ito yung itsura ng magiging next generation farms, no? Precision agriculture and predictive analytics, no? Yung analytics, yan yung ina-apply din na big data na maalalaman mo without computing. Tulad na lang nito <clears throat> ginagawa ko ngayon ng pagre-record ng mga lectures ko. Nalalaman ko kung bine-view niyo ba? Kasi nakalagay sa YouTube sa analytics kung ilang hours ang ano ang watts hours nakalagay din kung ilan ang nag-view so kung kayo tatlong po at lima lang ang nag-view therefore uh, 25 of them doesn't bother to watch so that is sometimes ay eh, nakaka-dishearten sa mga tulad ng mga teacher na nagle-lecture you exert all effort na marinig kasi yan ay responsibilidad ng mga estudyante talagang umatin ng lecture and yet uh, technology could not solve it all by itself. No? Uh, so, kinakailangan mag-apply ng bagong uh, style papaano magagaranti na madideliver mo o papanurin o maridinig ng iyong mga... So, these are part ngayon ng mga bagong methods, delivery, ways. So, ganun din sa farming. Like, andyan yung precision agriculture, robotics and drone, plant data analysis, smart irrigation. Pag sinabing smart, smart irrigation, hindi mo lang bubuksan yung gripo, but rather, uh, siya na mismo yung magsasabi, merong artificial intelligence doon na mararamdaman ng system na kulang na ng tubig. So siya na mismo magbubukas ng kanyang uh, gripo at ang i-deliver niyang tubig eh, eh, just enough. Just enough para kailanganin ng halaman. Na-compute na rin yun kung gaano karami ang kailangan niya. Merong sensor na roon. Then you have the farm management software kung saan uh, meron pang cloud computing. Narinig niyo na ba yung IoT or Internet of Things? Tapos mayroong cyber, physical system, and machine learning. Ang sinasabing machine learning, ang machine, natututo ng uh, sa dami ng data, nakaka, ano na siya, nakakaroon na siya ng sariling way uh, to decide. Mayroon pa nga akong nabasa ano eh, sa mga banko, nalalaman daw ng date ng analytics sa pirma ng client kung magbabayad o hindi ng utang. Imagine that. Then you have the blockchain, RFID. Yung RFID sa SAC yan. No? Meron na rin sa mga ano eh. Pagpapasok ka ng, uh, naman sa mga hospitals, instead mag-fill up ka ng form, yung QR code. Yan. Mga uh, restaurants, ganun din. Lalong-lalo na ngayon. Kapag ka ikaw eh, uh, papasok doon, magda-dine-in ka, eh, scan mo lang para uh, malaman kung ikaw eh, ano na. Doon ka na mag-fill up kay bakunado na. Minsan din naman, QR code, meron kami na biling product, nakalagay doon sa, ano, may kasamang QR code, iscan mo, yung presentation nasa YouTube. Okay. Dad, maano mo agad, pag uh, na-scan mo, halos mag a na agad yung video noong explanation tungkol sa product. At ito, ina-apply na ngayon sa, sa ating uh, next generation farms. So, talking about the uh, supply chain, ano, uh, this is a sample ng vegetable oils and vegetable proteins from the farm or pwedeng importation goes to the merchants or grain stores and then sa processing under primary, uh, bio-based or bottled oil, then transportation, logistics going to the food processing, yung secondary, and then finally, to the consumer. So, 
Uh, almost similar naman din sa dito sa wet flower. And also the starts. Ganun din ang kanyang supply chain. But siyempre, merong kanya-kanya yan. In actuality, iba-iba ang kanilang sistema because different products naman yan. Also on sugar, uh, by the way, sugar, hindi naman sa ano lang pala yung galing, ha? hindi lang sa sugar cane, pwede rin doon sa sugar beets. Yun, yung parang malaking ano, labanos. No? Merong, meron din sugar na kukuha dyan. Sugar and cocoa, almost the same, but siyempre, it varies. Depende sa industry na yan. Ano? So, now we have the Industry 4.0 Supply Chain. At yon ay incorporated na nga dyan yung real-time monitoring, organized inventory, uh, decision-making, Internet of Things, Artificial Intelligence, yung blockchain. Uh, dati in-report ko yan ako yung nasa De La Salle. Ah, Bagong-bago, talagang wala makaintindi. Nakakaintindi lang teacher namin. Ako, ni-research ko, pero I could not really patom kung paano gagawin yung blockchain na yan. It is actually uh, a group of businesses na yung kanilang data ay kanilang ilalagay sa isang common na, na, ano, na lugar. Kung di man lugar yan, actually, hindi man physical na lugar, kundi iipunin na roon so that lahat ng produkto na mag-create ay may sariling data siya. And then, yan na ngayon ang gagamitin nila sa kanilang transaction. So, halimbawa daw, yung sasakyan na nabili mo ng bago tapos ibinenta mo, ibinenta uli, ibinenta na uli. Yung sasakyan na yon ay may sariling data na pwede mong i-access, malalaman kung kanino siya napapunta, anong ginawa doon sa sasakyan yon That is the blockchain. And then automation, at ang resulta yan ay dahil automated na reduced ang labor. At yan din naman nakakatakot dahil ko konti ang gagawin ng tao, ko konti ang magiging trabahador. And all of those are done along the supply chain which is from farmer, warehouse, the processing, service providers, extension agents, and logistics. So, another way, um, dito naman sa customer order ordering online and then payment is online then or yung tinatawag natin mga payment uh, mechanism, uh, e-wallet, at ngayon yung sikat in GCAS. So, producer is notified and food is prepared. Uh, mayroon pang panda delivery, yan. food is delivered by the courier at customer's door so that the customer enjoy the food in the comfort of their home. Yan. So, sabi nga natin, kapag nagkakaroon ng mga disruption like the pandemic ng COVID, ay nag a din ang mga tao on how to uh, actually uh, deal with the current situation uh, so that life will still go on. So, thank you very much. At dyan, actually, natatapos yung ating buong kurso ng commodity system. Uh, so, hopefully, you have learned a lot from this lecture. Thank you very much. Stop.